Yes guys, how are we doing today? We've got another video and we are going through the Champions League matches for tonight, which is Wednesday the 2nd of October. Now before we do that, let's have a quick look at yesterday's predictions. So let's get the worst worst one out of the way. We had Salzburg against Brest. We had Salzburg draw no bet. They got absolutely smashed 4-0. Madness. And the thing is, they played really well. They had a lot of chances and stuff, but to concede four goals, nightmare. Let's forget that one. Then the next one we had was Stuttgart versus Sparta Prague. We had Stuttgart win. They went 1-0 up. Then they conceded an, an absolute mad free kick. It was unreal. And that ended 1-1. So the two early games, shite. Then we had Arsenal versus PSG. We had PSG over 0.5 goals. They hit the pose. They hit the crossbar. They had a lot of chances. They had a possible pen. No goal. Right. <laughs> Great start. Then we had Barcelona versus Young Boys. We went for Barcelona to win both halves. Uh, that won. They won, the, they won the first half 4-0. The second half was 1-0. That won. We had odds of 1.73. Then we had another one, which was Leverkusen versus AC Milan. We had over two and a half goals. Nope, 1-0. Then, then we had the winners. The winners come in. So we had Dortmund win. Odds of 1.55. They won 7-1. That was unreal. And in hindsight, to be honest, I did say in yesterday's video, the odds of 1.55 for Dortmund to win yesterday were very generous. That should have been a lump job. I'm not going to lie. That was crazy odds. And they smashed it as well, 7-1. Then we had Inter Milan versus Red Star Belgrade. We had Inter Milan, minus one handicap. They won 4-0. So that bet won, odds of 1.6. We had PSV versus Sporting. We had double chance draw or away. It was 1-0 to PSV, and in the last five minutes, Sporting grabbed a goal, ended 1-1, so that bet won. That was odds of 1.5. And then we had Bratislava versus Man City, the last one. We went for Man City to score in each half and to get two corners in each half, and that was odds of 1.67, and that won. So we had four winners, one stake back, and four lost. So 50-50, 50-50. But like I said in my videos, Go through them, pick your two favourite, do some further research and do a double or a treble. So I had a treble in my premium group. I went for the Man City bet, I went for the Dortmund bet and I went for the Sport in Lisbon double chance bet. And that gave odds of 3.27. They were my three favourites and that won. Okay, so let's go through tonight's two early kickoffs. The first game is Shakhtar Donetsk versus Atalanta. Both of their first Champions League games ended 0-0. So we are going with under 3.5 goals in this, 1.46. Next, we have Hirona versus Feyenoord. This is going to be a close game. Very close game. I think it's, I think it's going to be very attacking. I'm going both teams to score in this one and odds are 1.7. Next, we have Liverpool versus Bologna. I am going with Liverpool minus one handicap. I just think they're too strong for them. And odds of that are 1.6. Next up, we have Lille versus Real Madrid. Lille started the season really well. But after that, they had a bit of a car crash. And they've only won one game in six now. And Madrid are yet to lose this season. Playing very well. So I'm going for a Madrid straight win. And the odds are 1.63. Then we have Dinamo Zagreb versus Monaco. Dinamo, they got smashed last week. 9-1 by Bayern Munich. Madness. And Monaco beat Barcelona 2-1, which was a great result for them. And they are yet to lose. Um, but, 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 Zagreb are very strong at home. And after that 9-1 thrashing, they'll be going for it. So, it's tough to call, but I'm going to go with both teams to score. And odds are 1.68. Next game is the one I'm looking forward to the most. The one I'll be watching, which is Aston Villa versus Bayern Munich. Both have started very, very well this season. Um, company, he started very well at Bayern Munich. They are thrashing everyone. Very high scoring games. Now this game's an interesting one because Villa have the better manager in my opinion. He's a much better coach and his tactics will be a lot better. A lot more used to playing in Europe. He's, he knows how teams work in Europe. And on the other hand, you've got Bayern Munich company. I don't think he's a great manager. I know they're doing well so far, but uh, and on paper, they have got the better team. So it's coach versus better team. It's going to be close. I can see both teams scoring in this and the odds are 1.55. We've got three matches left, guys. Three matches left. You know the score. Please smash that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, please make sure you do and hit the bell button so you don't miss out on any videos. I'm pumping out two, three, four videos a week at the moment. So you don't want to miss out. Hit subscribe. Okay, next we have Benfica versus 
Atletico Madrid. Madrid, they're very defensive when they play away from home. And I know Benfica, at home they score well, but that is in the Portuguese league, you know, it's completely different kettle of fish. So I can't see many goals happening in this one. Uh, I think Madrid might nick one, Benfica might nick one, but I think Madrid will just be very defensive in this. So I'm going with under three and a half goals and odds of 1.4. Then we have Storm Graz versus Club Bruges. Both teams are scoring and they're conceding and both of their games in the Champions League the other day ended with over two and a half goals. So we are going with over two and a half goals and the odds are 1.66. And then the last game of the evening is Leipzig versus Juventus. I haven't been overly impressed with Juventus and that continues from last season. Every time I watch them play, there's just not much about them. They have, they don't play great football. It's very boring. I don't know, just not much going on. Um, Leipzig, on the other hand, they haven't lost at home since February and that was against Real Madrid. So their home form is brilliant. So I'm going for a double chance, home or draw, and the odds are 1.46. So that's all the selections. Like I said before, pick two or three of your favourites and make, and make a double or a treble. Or you can do them as singles or wait until in play. It's completely up to you, but it's your money. It's your bet. But I would say pick a double or a treble from these and uh, yeah, go from there. And tomorrow we have got the Europa Games. So that video will go live tomorrow morning and then on friday we have the prem videos as well so so loads of videos coming up make sure you hit subscribe and that's it guys that is it see you in the next one take care peace